Today's scripture comes from Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, where the Bible says, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, when the fullness of time had come. I was a very impatient child at Christmas time. There were lots of things that I was waiting for. My grandparents would drive every year from Flint, Michigan to St. Louis to spend two weeks with us, and they came with a trunk full of Verner's ginger ale. Every year, my dad received a two-pound box of Bavarian mint chocolates as a Christmas gift from a customer. I could not wait for him to bring those home. But I was most impatient for the big day. On Christmas morning, I always got up early. One year, I woke up at 5 a.m. and proceeded downstairs and started to open presents before anyone was awake. My mom was not happy. My experience as a child was that the weeks of longing led to a few hours of joy and excitement on Christmas morning that had faded by mid-afternoon. After I'd had the chance to show off my new stuff and play with my new toys for a while, I started to get bored. It's good for us during this season of waiting and longing and anticipation to ask ourselves just exactly what it is we're longing for. Is it the presents, the food, the family? If those are the highlights of the holiday for you, you can count on the joy of Christmas fading pretty quickly. Lasting joy comes as we embrace the great gift God has given us at Christmas, the gift of his Son, who never leaves and who never forsakes us. He came to earth at just the right time, when the food is gone and the family has said goodbye until next time, Jesus is still with us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, during this busy time of year, help me to keep my heart focused on what matters most in this season. Help me to find my delight and joy in you.